Great party, huh? I'm just putting in my obligatory five minutes. I don't even know who this Todd guy is. It's me. I'm Todd. I don't think so. I am. I'm Todd. No, you're like Larry or something. So after I had a run-in with that jerk Frank Winters, I emailed him an essay on the hundred funniest ways for him to be killed by his own diarrhea. You've been looking down all night. Are you feeling shy? Yeah, yeah, I'm shy. Listen, Nick, I have to talk to you about something. We've gone out now, what, ten times? Four? Right, four times. And we've really gotten to know each other, so I don't feel I'm being rash or shallow when I say... You want to sleep with me. Uh... I understand. I was taking it slow, maybe too slow. A woman like you has certain needs. Oh, dear. Much. Oh, uh, I don't know. It looks like hummus. No, you're an idiot. <sighs> wow. gonna show up. I don't know why I'm hanging around here. Could you open this jar for me? It's complicated. And could you kill this bug for me? It's complicated too. You know, maybe I don't need to be in a relationship. Lots of things don't have relationships. Trees, Shrimp, ketchup, wallpaper. What is this list I'm making? We all had to spend the weekend in sensitivity training. Jessica blamed me. Is that coffee? I didn't see coffee. Oh! Do you see it now? <clears throat> My eyes! Look who's <laughs> sensitive all of a sudden. You don't think I'm huggy and touchy? I can be huggy and touchy. Hey, Andy, here are those specs you wanted. Thanks, Mel. Hey, Mel. Hey. How's it going, Mel? Fine. Am I in trouble? No, Mel. C can I go now? Yeah, go ahead, beat it. Do not ask her out. Why not? Because you're gonna go out a few times, then you'll break up. She'll feel hurt, you'll feel guilty, and I'll feel dirty because no one will be cleaning my apartment. But I'm in love. No, you're not. Why do you always disagree with me? If I said I'm not in love, would you say, yes, you are? I don't know. Let's try it. I'm not in love. I know. So leave her alone. No, thank you. I wasn't offering it to you. I was introducing you. Oh, well, hello. Sir, we need to talk to you about your management style. You're right. Look at me. I don't even know what I'm doing. My management style is ruining the spirit of this company. From now on, I'm gonna be a nice guy. Hey, how you doing? All right. Yeah, like that. Good for you, sir. I feel truly privileged to have witnessed whatever that was. I don't want any more yelling. At some point, there must have been a loving, caring bond that brought you together. Let's talk about that. Talk about that. Otherwise, I'm gonna get Byron back in here. Oh, God. I will drown you, I swear to God, I will. Hey, happy birthday! <laughs> Your gift from me is being delivered from far away by steam. Don't worry, 
It's not my birthday. Mm. I set Sherry up with this fantastic friend of mine, Steve, and it's going really well. Steve? Do I know Steve? How come I didn't get a crack at Fantastic Steve? Because he's smart and cultured, but not exactly a 10 in the looks department, and I know how important that is to you. That's not important to me. I'm not superficial like that. Uh-huh. I'm not. Look, I'm not desperate to date or anything, but if you're just handing out fantastic guys, I want one. Well, there is this guy, Nick, in my singing class. He seems like a real sweetie, and he sings like an angel. Sounds good. I'd love to meet him. OK, I'll set it up. Great! <laughs> you want to know what he looks like, don't you? No. Why do you want to tell me? Have mercy, baby. I am gonna put on a thong and go straight to the beach. My butt's gonna get so tan, people are gonna mistake it for a football and pass it around. <laughs> What's on your agenda when you're not kissing my ass? Actually, I hadn't thought beyond that, sir. <laughs> oh, so, my mother's death amuses you? No, no. Oh, so you have no sense of humor. Uh, wait, I can do this. Your mother's dead, and that's funny. Let's just continue our little tour, shall we? When a lady goes out, she should wear a hat. Look at me. I have an MBA. Touch him, he can't touch you. I'll be there the whole time. Stop it. You're so scared of me. Jessica is so competitive. She can turn anything into a cutthroat competition. Hey, Andy. Hey. You want to get a cup of coffee? Sure. Here we are, supposedly celebrating my birthday. Make a wish, Andy. Nine. She even turned a friendly game of whack each other in the face with a shovel into a brutal competition. But the worst part about competing with Jessica? that she usually wins. <laughs> <laughs>